Today we're taking a moment to talk about why it's massively important if you want to be massively successful to massively max out on being yourself. start with a little story. My kids just finished up school this past Thursday and on the Wednesday, the day before that, they had their little award ceremony for the end of the school year. Yeah, well, I'm showing up in the back along with like several other dads that are stacked up there. We brought food and all that good stuff. I'm watching the dynamics going on between the kids. They're all sitting in their desks, but as they're getting called up for their different awards, you see like some kids getting their feelings hurt. Some you can just tell are wishing that they were in that position or that my son got the heart of the artist award. Just saying, <laughs> no big deal. But yeah, it kind of is. But you can tell internally, they're all working it out in their heads as to what they wish they were, had they were this. Like. But then I looked at the dads and the same thing was going on. It's amazing the variances in dads. You got the super cool dad who's like, struts in. Yeah, nice job, son. Good stuff. And he's like checking out the teacher. Then you have the disinterested dad. Hey, good job. Good job, bud. And my personal favorite, the one that puts us all to shame, is the over-the-top dad. He brings more food than everybody, is always welcoming to sleepovers, and anytime any kid does well, not only his own, any kid, he's like, hey, hey, yeah, good job, buddy. You can do it, huh? And I'd just be looking at him like, she slayed the spelling bee. Everybody knew Tamika was going to get that award. Really? Hey! Hey! Great job! Hoorah! And even I was tempted to feel about this big. I'm sitting here on my phone taking pictures and he's got like a full-on camera with gear. And he's like, click, click. You can come over to our house for a sleepover. Come on. Anytime. I have no responsibilities or cares in the world. I got nothing to do but care about my kids! Yay! Can you tell I'm a little bitter? I could have very easily been tempted to try to compete with those dads, especially the, the over-the-top dad. But I gotta be me. Remember this, no one was ever considered great by becoming a version of someone else. You never hear of, oh yeah, Michael Jordan, he was a lot like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. When they were talking about Kobe Bryant, they're not saying he's just like Michael Jordan. They're saying he's Kobe Bryant. Same goes for your hustle. For me, I've been tempted to do that before. As an actor, there's a lot of pressure to look a certain way, to act a certain way, to seem youthful. That's why this experience has been so good for me and connecting with all of you has truly blessed my life because I'm getting more comfortable in my own skin. Proud of the fact that I'm a hustling dad. Proud of the fact that I've got huge aspirations, but I'm also wholeheartedly committed to my family. That's what Dad Hustle is all about. Don't get me wrong, you're gonna pick up clues and learn from other people's experiences to become better at whatever you're doing. Just like Kobe was looking at Michael Jordan and, and learning from him as he was a kid. There's a book called Steal Like an Artist. It's not in my hand. I can't seem to find it. It's somewhere here, but I, I own it. I've read it. It's really good. It's by Austin Kleon. Not Klingon. Kleon. K-L-E-O-N. Spock, there's something on the wing. The book has become a New York Times bestseller and for good reason. I read it, it's super short. You can read it in literally a day. Cleon points out that no artist's work is ever completely original and that trying to be completely original will daunt an artist and will eventually smother his creativity. In other words, build off of what's already been created. That's why it's so important to read all these books. That's why it's so important to listen to audios. That's why it's so important to constantly be personally developing because you're learning from great mentors that you can take what they've done and build upon it. Make it your own. Be original. So don't try to be a version of somebody else. Be the best damn version of you. There's an expression they use in the film industry and it's called being comfortable in your own skin. So steal like an artist, find someone who's doing well, model what they're doing, but make it your own. Be yourself. I've said it before, authenticity sells. People love the fact that you're comfortable in your own skin. 
I know I'm not the only one out there that's ever struggled trying to be like somebody else. So let me know what you think in the comments. Put a little note down there. I'd love to hear from you. And if you liked what you heard today, hit that subscribe button with a little bell that pops up afterwards. I'd love to be connected with you guys. Do life together. Because as always, I'm Will Crown and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Keep hustling, dads. You can't stop me! Please, me.